I wanna take you away Let's escape into the music Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Luke. And I'm Cooper. And, and we're, we're the Coil, Coil Twins. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be doing the pros and cons of being a twin. And we figured this would be a good video to film because whenever we're meeting new people or just talking to our friends in everyday life, people are always kind of asking us like, oh, do you like being a twin? Like, what are the negatives? What are the positives? So we're gonna kind of put all of our thoughts down into one video. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button. <laughs> Oh my god, that was very cringy, but we had to do it. Anyway, make sure to like, subscribe, follow Check us out on our social media. Social media, you know. Come yeah, on, like, do yeah. we even need to say it anymore? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start out on a positive note. One of the pros of being a twin is definitely that you always have a best friend for life. And as corny oh, as that is, it's really true, because at the end of the day, if you have siblings, you can probably relate, but the bond you share between is just so special and different and unique compared to any relationship, I think. So we always call it like the best friend for life type of thing, and basically, if you have no one else, you always have your twin by your side. Obviously, you may fight everyone now and then, but at the end of the day, you always got that rock. I think it's just that built-in support system that is always there, and it will just never go away because you're twins. Okay, so on the contrary to that, definitely one of the negatives, one of the cons, is that you're always counted as one. I mean, not all the times, but sometimes people just group you together and don't yeah. realize that you're two individual different people. I mean, our name on YouTube is literally The Coil Twin, so we're kind of doing it to ourselves. But at the end of the day, it does kind of get annoying when people are always like, oh, the twins. It's like, we have our own names. Come on, yeah, like, come on. we're two separate different people. Yeah, some people just don't realize that, and you know, it does get a little offensive, it's like, come on now, but um, you know, you get used to it and you kind of just disregard yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, well. whatever. Okay, so another positive is the fact that we get to share everything, when it comes to clothes, when it comes to yes, food. Yes. It's kind of a win-win situation, because especially like over the summer when we're working at our grocery store, like whatever it is, he makes his own money, I make my own money, but then... Like say we're getting clothes, like if I'm buying the clothes, he automatically gets to wear them too. So it's like that built-in second wardrobe kind of thing. <laughs> so it really works out and we're able to save a lot of money because we share everything. So. so definitely one of the negatives of being a twin is that people are always, always comparing you. And Constantly. After a while, it just gets very irritating and it's like, come on, like you don't need to compare. Like we're two different people, we're twins, but like... It's just very old and it's like, really? Like, really? Yeah, like, for example, in our like, photography classes this year, I'll, obviously we're a duo when it comes to photography, but um, I'll put up my work and Luke will put up his work. They basically are the same because we do it together. But people will constantly be like, oh, well, compared to Cooper's, I think this one is da 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 And compared to Luke's, this one is da 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 And they're different because it's like, why do you have to even go into that? So basically, at the end of the day, people are always going to compare you as a twin. It gets kind of irritating, but you, you know you end up kind of building a thick skin, so it doesn't bother you. Yeah, exactly. It's like whatever. Okay, so another pro about being a twin, and this is probably my favorite one, and if you're a twin watching this, you can probably agree, is that you stand out. Yeah. And I don't know. I guess people every day they're not used to seeing, especially if you're identical twins, are probably not used to seeing two people that look exactly like. So we're definitely remembered and. We might not always remember people, but they'll always remember us. So it works out to our advantage. Yeah, and also you always have that partner crime. Like you walk into a room, you can match with someone, you can play those tricks, flip people out. Yeah. It just endless it's, possibilities. It's just a great time. Yeah, yeah it's just like double the trouble, but wait, what's it saying? Double, double the trouble, trouble, but twice as nice. Oh. Another negative is that when it comes to like friends and being social, is that. Say if you were kind of beefing with someone or something. Say if like in middle school like you're in a little petty fight with someone. Yeah, like if they're mad at one twin, they're gonna try to be, I don't, they're not gonna know how to react to the other twin. Say I didn't do anything to that person, but they're just gonna assume because I'm their twin that maybe I'm mad at them or something. Yeah, so with my own twin. it gets complicated with relationships sometimes, but you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, so ending on a positive note, I think one of the best things about being a twin is the fact that you always have that partner in crime for life. It's the built-in peanut butter to your jelly. You guys just oh get each God. other, so... <laughs> yeah. 
bad. So at the end of the day, basically there are pros and cons to everything, but you know, you just gotta focus on the positives. Yes, focus on focusing on the positive here. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank That's you for watching. That's a wrap.